Thank you for joining me for this conversation. We're going to talk today about interpersonal relations and why it is one of the single most critical factors for your dental team. I'm speaking to you from the main training room at Levine Group at our headquarters in Baltimore, Maryland. We have five large training rooms and 21 conference rooms on this floor, and this is where clients come to meet with our faculty, their consultants, other doctors, and other staff. So our conversation today is going to be about interpersonal relations. What does that mean? Well, the real crux of interpersonal relations is getting along with other people. You know, there was a time, I'm a third generation dentist, where you could open a practice and grow very quickly. I remember my grandfather telling me stories about having one year waiting lists for new patients. Or a new dentist would open in Baltimore, where I'm from, and the other dentists would get together and literally send a lot of patients to the new young dentist to help him, it was always a him in those days, get started. Well, today it's a little different. Uh, young dentists open practices and uh, nobody's there to help them and a lot are struggling. In fact, dentists are struggling at every level right now because the economy has changed, insurance has changed, the dental world has changed. Simply opening up and expecting success automatically is no longer rational thinking. Well, Levin Group has the only one-year internal marketing consulting program. And I just wrote an article this morning on this topic for one of the major dental journals. And what I said in the article was that even if we had put together this scientific program on interpersonal relations, and even if we had gone ahead and done an amazing job of selecting the strategies, and we now know that anything less than 15 strategies custom selected and integrated is ineffective for internal marketing. So even if we had done everything right, the program would have never worked as well as when we recognized that the doctor and the team needed internal, uh, sorry, not internal, but interpersonal relations training to make the internal marketing strategies work effectively. What is interpersonal relations? Well, let's think about a checklist of things that you can score yourself on. Look at the following items and ask yourself, am I a zero, the worst, or ten, the best, or something in between? Am I friendly? Do I greet patients by name? Do I use a patient's name three times in every conversation? Do I use the word convenience three times when I'm talking about scheduling? Do I use power words, positive words that energize patients like wonderful, terrific, fantastic, excellent, unbelievable, and awesome? Do, does my scripting include benefit statements like you will look beautiful, you won't have to come twice, it will be less expensive to do it now, uh, you will feel great when this is over, you're going to ask yourself why you didn't do this 10 years ago. Uh, my body language, do I smile, do I make eye contact, do I lean forward to create energy, do I shake hands? My language, do I use only positive language, do I use words like don't, can't, won't, shouldn't, couldn't, or do I turn everything toward the positive? Do we make sure that patients uh, feel like we care? Do I ask every patient how they are and really wait for the answer? Do I learn one new thing every time the patient comes to the office and keep a record of this so I can refer back to it? Do we learn 10 new things, we call it the golden 10, about every new patient who comes in to the office? Do we use the words thank you at least three times in each patient conversation? Do we end patient visits by saying thank you so much for coming, it was wonderful to see you today, and we look forward to your next visit? That's part of power scripting, which influences patients. Interpersonal relations is a skill set. Very few people have it. There are lots of nice people. In fact, I'm thrilled to work in dentistry because I believe dentists are amongst the nicest people in the world, which makes sense because we're really here to help other people. So naturally, nice people uh, enjoy doing that, and not so nice people probably wouldn't. There are industries where not everybody is nearly as nice as dentistry. Their ethics are different, their morals are different, their thinking is different. But even if we're nice, it's not good enough. Today, nice is not enough. Today, it's about adding interpersonal relations. It's about going to another level, another dimension, in order to get certain results to help our patients feel happy, to help our patients want to refer others, to motivate them to accept treatment. Interpersonal relations is critical in the internal marketing process. So when we look at internal marketing, we can select the 15 strategies, we can put them in place, we can train the internal marketing consultant with no problem, 
that you're going to need to implement your internal marketing program. Don't panic. It's a very part-time position, but a very critical one. And we can get fantastic returns, but not if we haven't trained the doctor and team on interpersonal relations. The best part, and I hear this regularly from doctors and team members, is they're happier as well. Because when you're trained on how to go out of your way to make people happy, you're also happy. Think about when you're involved in a charitable activity. Are you grumbling, complaining? Many people do things for charity they wouldn't do in their own homes, they wouldn't do in their own practices, but they do it out of a charitable feeling and they really feel good. We're getting something back by giving something out. And that's what interpersonal relations does. We give out this aura of liking people, caring about people, going beyond the teeth to the person, and we get back someone who wants to accept treatment, wants to pay their bills, and loves to refer to our practice. So we have created a science around interpersonal relations training. It takes about a day to get the first basic understanding to the doctor and team. And it also gets everybody on the same page, which is absolutely wonderful. So I hope you've enjoyed this conversation about interpersonal relations training and how to make patients like you, which is going to make you happier as well and build your practice. On behalf of myself and all the consultants at Levine Group, thank you for joining me for this conversation with Roger.